and Jeffrey Lawson. Beautiful shot. Some width for Matthews and Slater a fine cutter. And as they say, you can't set fields to bad bowling. And it's a long hop outside off stump. And Michael Slater doesn't miss. It's a good positive start by Michael Slater this morning. He was a little bit scratchy last night. That's a pretty useful delivery from uh, Craig Matthews. Oh, how did that miss? Dear, oh dear, I'm not sure that was pat or bat. Must have missed the off stump or the stumps by a coat of varnish. Craig Matthews has bowled a bouncing leg cutter earlier on in the over that Michael Slater played and missed that. And that's gone over the top of off by the looks of it. Dave Richardson gets a late look at it because the batsman's in the way. Hots over the top of middle and it swings as it goes past the stump. First over. Mm, that's a full toss. Smashed through the offside field. A loose delivery. Slater loves him there. And uh, so four runs. That make. Slater. He really needs a man there to uh, save that easy single. Yes, Kepler is uh, the most obvious choice from silly mid-off across to uh, a position of leg slip. Leg slip might uh, take the catch and he can also... Good shot through the offside. Yeah. Into the gap, good shot, beautifully played, lovely timing. And that'll bring up his 50, it won't quite reach the boundary. But Michael Slater really has used his feet well, he's worked hard for this 50. He'll be looking now to continuing. This has been a very valuable innings for Australia. Yes, the second 50 of the match so far. He's um, worked hard. He's had one or two glorious shots. He's been covered by Pat Simcox in the last hour, but he's fighting it out. It's whacked away square. That'll go for four. Slightly over pitched there. Perhaps an attempt at the Yorker. And Slater really whipping it away off the meat of the bat. Yes, and you just feel the pressure easing here for Border and Michael Slater. Matthews straying onto middle league. Superb shot. He firmly hit, uh, considering there was a lot of pad in the shot. And that brings up the 100 for Australia. Craig Matthews doesn't think it was all that good a shot. He can't believe it either that it's raced down to the backward square leg boundary. I did. You can never be quite sure uh, when the bowler's screaming out, catch it, particularly judging by Pat Simcox's earlier effort uh, against Mark Waugh. There was another spinner creating some chances. This will be a totally different look to the attack. It was Simcox who took a very good catch in the World Series competition to get rid of uh, Slater. A caught and bowled from a ball that Slater really thumped back at him. Three four hundred and twelve and bad news one feels for South Africa. Alan Donald leading the field. Slater on 63. Close, just outside the line. He jumped out of the road there, Slater. But his angle was very wide to Billy's, but that was very close. Did it strike him in line, or was it going down the leg side? Let's have another look at that. I'd suggest he's battling to get an OBW bowling from, well, within three of... Oh, that's well played into the gap on the offside. That's the 50 partnership. It's running down towards the fence. Will it get there? It'll just make it. 
so uh, breaking the shackles there, Slater, and getting stuck into that one, smash it into the gap on the offside, definitely a hot shot. You could just see a little tone come over the game now, that'll really boost his confidence. Got that one away down the third man, and he'll be looking for two. Very aggressive runner, Michael Slater. That one straight down the ground, it's running away down towards Long On. Once again off the meat of the boat, this time not quite getting to the fence. And so three more to Slater. And uh, it looks as if Donald slipped on back onto the ground. I'm going to need him too. Bill Laurie is going to take over in the commentary box and with him is Jeff Lawson. And back here at the Sydney Cricket Ground, it's going to be Pat Simcox who's buying a marathon spell here. Well played, cutting it up probably off middle and leg stump, gave himself some room. And then, right. Oh, and that one does bounce. Every now and again we see one that bounces down that end. There are obviously a few little marks down there. We'll try and pick him up in the morning for you with a pitch report. Slater on strike. Again, short, that's in the air, this will be out, no it won't, just out of the reach of the fieldsman there, and Donald's hands go in there, that looked as if it was going to go straight up, and Slater pretty angry with himself, trying to go for that one there, he's uh, really trying to whack it away over mid-wicket, here it is. At the other end, Michael Slater is on 86, if he makes 100 it will be a very good one. That's well driven and well fielded. And Border luckily with the foot behind the line there. Alan Donald got some hand on that delivery and smashed into the stumps. Slater on 92. There's one up in the air and it falls safely short. No bat pad and that's a penalty of pay. He got two men in the deep, couple of vessels folds his hands, but it's his fault. Slater was caught at short leg in Melbourne off this bowler. Interesting over. Three for 179. Got him. Knocked him over. That's what they needed. Clean ball for 92, Slater. First time he's really pitched it up, Donald, and he went right through, maybe an inside edge, and all of a sudden this game for swinging back into an even Stephen situation. Nervous 90s, aren't they? A nasty area. Michael Slater going for a more controlled drive than he did previously. Inside edge onto the pad through the stumps. And there is one very, very happy man. And Donald hasn't bowled with a lot of luck. He's had his bit of luck in this situation. The dismissal of Michael Slater for 92. He's very disappointed with that. Australia 5 for 179.